Hezbollah launched hundreds of rockets into Israel on Sunday, calling it an initial response to the killing of its commander, Fuad Shukra. Hezbollah leader Hassan Nasrallah claimed that it targeted the Glelos and Ain Shemer bases deep into the Israeli territory. But why did Hezbollah choose to target these two places inside Israel? Well, Nasrallah said that one of Hezbollah's two main targets was the Gleloth base, which is located near Herzliya, and it's around 1.5 kilometers from Tel Aviv, which is just about 1,500 meters from the border of Tel Aviv. The intelligence base is said to house the headquarters of Mossad, which is Israel's spy agency. It is considered an important base for Israeli defense forces with significant signals functions which takes place at the Gleloth base. It houses Unit 8200. Now, it is a unit that specializes in intelligence gathering and espionage activity. Now, the Unit 8200, which is based at the Gleloth base, is part of the Amman Military Intelligence Directorate and is used for intelligence gathering as well. Second base which Hezbollah attacked over the weekend is the Ain Shemer base. It is located near Hadera in northern Israel and is nearly six kilometers east of Hadera in the Haifa district. The base hosts major IDF air defense assets. Now since 2002, this base houses a complete Arrow 2 theater. Uh, which is an anti-ballistic missile battery which includes around 150 to 200 arrow to block for missiles and also several other launchers it also houses the great pine radar system and like i mentioned it's home to the super great pine missile defense radar system it is a ground-based missile defense radar and the radar has a range of thousand kilometers now, while it does not house any fighter jets or helicopters, this base, the Ain Shemir base, is used for testing of drones. Well, according to New York Times report, the base was also used for major GPS disruptions in West Asia, known as spoofing. The GPS attacks involve scrambling of signals that misdirect aircraft instruments, making it difficult for them to determine their exact locations. Well, Hezbollah has indicated that the attacks were just the first part of its retaliation against Israel. Israel, meanwhile, has launched hundreds of rockets in their preemptive strikes on Lebanon. But when it comes to head-to-head -head, uh, between Israel and Hezbollah, the odds seem to favor Israel instead of Hezbollah. Well, in terms of personnel, Israel has a higher chance than Hezbollah. Hezbollah has a huge cache of around 80,000 rockets and it also has multiple rocket launchers and surface-to-surface -surface missile launchers. Well, Hezbollah and Israel had rather warned Israel of such attacks earlier as well. That is on June 18th and July 10th. Let's tell you about the June 18th warning wherein Hezbollah had published a video from one of its reconnaissance drones which was flying over northern Israel like you can see on your screens and that video it included the Haifa port that is near the Ain Shemed base which was attacked by Hezbollah over the weekend. This video appeared to put out a message to Israel that Hezbollah has an eye on Israel and also access to most of its security installations. Then on July 10th, Hezbollah published another video. This one was almost a 10 minute long video showing footage of 17 military sites in the Israeli occupied Syrian Golan Heights. The video showed Israeli Iron Dome batteries, command centers, and ammunition depots. Well, these recent warnings on June 18th and July 10th, they indicate that Hezbollah had been bracing for a wide-scale attack against Israel for quite some time.